welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scenes from Top Gun. No, no, ma'am, this is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. For this list, we're looking at the best sequences from this 1986 classic. How do you feel about Top Gun? Does it take your breath away or take the highway to the danger zone? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Buzzing the Tower It wouldn't be Top Gun without some hotshot pilots, and Pete Maverick Mitchell is one of the best. All right, Jester, let's see if I can give you a run for your money here. During his first training hop, Maverick seeks to make a serious impression, and does so at the expense of his instructor Jester. Jester trails Maverick for much of the exercise, seeking to get a lock and end the simulated dogfight. However, Maverick employs the age-old movie tactic of slamming on the brakes, something we'd see him do again later on. Jesus Christ! Woo! Let's see what you got now, Chester. Now with the tables turned, Maverick seals the victory, even if he'd get reprimanded for his flying later. Woo! Jester's dead! Woohoo! Just dead. After he's denied a clear landing, Maverick opts to take a victory lap by buzzing the tower. God damn, son of a bitch. <laughs> Number 9. You've Lost That Lovin' Feelin'. The night before Top Gun starts, some of the guys head to a bar in their sharpest navy whites looking for a different kind of action. After meeting the notorious Iceman, Maverick spots Kelly McGillis's Charlie Blackwood, woefully unaware she's one of his instructors. She's lost that love and feeling. She's like, no, she has. Yes, she, she has. She has not lost that love. Goose, she's lost it, Matt. Come on. I hate it when she does that. Together with Goose and eventually several other Navy men, he serenades her with the Righteous Brothers song "You've Lost That Love and Feeling." Honestly, with that many wingmen, Charlie never really stood a chance, though Maverick's further attempts at wooing her are not nearly as successful. Are you a, a good pilot? I can hold my own. Great. Then I won't have to worry about you making your living as a singer. Charlie plays the actual song at the end of the film to reunite with Maverick and cure his blues once and for all. Hello, Pete Mitchell. I heard the best of the best were going to be back here, so... Uh... Number 8. Watch the Birdie Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin and Maverick and Goose? Top Gun never explicitly says who the other bogeys are, but come on, it's an 80s action movie, we know it's the Russians. In the opening scene, Maverick and Goose are flying over the Indian Ocean with their wingman Cougar when they encounter enemy jets. Though neither side has permission to fire, the standoff is tense as they enter a pissing contest of sorts. After one bogey spooks Cougar by locking onto him, Maverick one-ups him by hovering above him and upside down, flipping him the bird for good measure. Greetings! <laughs> Watch the birdie! Not one to pass up a Polaroid moment, Goose snaps a picture. Number 7. Great Balls of Fire You break my will? Oh, what a thrill! Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! For an 80s action movie of sorts, you wouldn't think there'd be so many musical moments, but here we are. Ow! You shake, shake my nerves, nerves and you rattle my brain. Think back your love drives a man insane. You broke my will? Oh, what a thrill! Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! In this scene, we see Maverick and Charlie meet with Goose and his wife and kid at a bar. It's a small moment, but one that makes us appreciate the little things prior to the life-changing twists that would come later on. Come to think of it, from Goose's prime piano playing abilities to his adorable kid to being happily married to a young Meg Ryan, how did we not know he was doomed to die? Hey Goose, you big stud! That's me, honey! Take me to bed or lose me forever! Show me the way home, honey! In any case, this scene always manages to put a smile on our face. Goodness gracious, great ball! Number 6. The Need for Speed I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Top 
Gun has a plethora of memorable lines, but that one might just be the most iconic. Still, that clip isn't long enough to devote a whole entry to it, so we'll be focusing on the training hop that follows immediately after, which is thrilling in its own right. Good morning, gentlemen. The temperature is 110 degrees. Holy shit, it's Viper! Viper's up here! Great! Oh, shit. Great. He's probably saying, holy shit, it's Maverick and Goose. Yeah, I'm sure he's saying that. This time out, Maverick goes all gung-ho by abandoning his wingman Hollywood to pursue his commanding officer Viper. Trouble is, Viper has him playing directly into his hands, giving Jester the opportunity to swoop in and get a lock on Maverick. Bingo, Maverick's dead. You're out of there, kid. The Defense Department regrets to inform you that your sons are dead because they were stupid. <sighs> Great balls of fire! It's a tough loss for Maverick, but it serves as an important lesson in teamwork and humility. Number 5. Goose's Death well, it's bottom of the ninth, the score is tied, it's time for the big one. You up for this one, Maverick? Just a walk in the park, Kazansky. Top Gun prides itself on being a fun ride, but Maverick's character arc would be nothing without the tragic death of his partner at its center. During another training hop, Maverick and Iceman are going after an A4. However, Maverick begins to suspect that Iceman is deliberately stalling to lower his score in Top Gun. Jesus Christ, I can take a shot right here! I need another 20 seconds, then I've got him. Impatient, Maverick has Iceman clear the area, only to enter a flat spin upon going through his jet wash. Out of options, Maverick and Goose are forced to eject. Only Goose is inadvertently thrust into the jettisoned canopy, breaking his neck. The shot of Maverick holding Goose's lifeless body in the water is heartbreaking. He was just too good for this world. Number four. Take my breath away. The MiG has you in his gun sight. What were you thinking at this point? You don't have time to think up there. If you think, you're dead. Well, that's a big gamble with a $30 million plane, Lieutenant. Even though it's a pretty major conflict of interest, Maverick and Charlie's courtship reaches a fever pitch halfway into the movie. Lieutenant! My review of your flight performance in the past was right on in my professional opinion. I can't hear you! Peeved about her open criticism of his flying, Maverick rides off in a huff. Charlie heatedly gives chase, breaking more than a few traffic laws to let him know how conflicted her love for him has made her. I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me, and I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. The opening notes to the Berlin song, Take My Breath Away, had hitherto been played continually up to this point. But here, the song plays in full as we get one of the most iconic love scenes of the 80s, complete with silhouettes and a lot of tongue. It's a pretty cheesy sequence, but few movies do cheese better than Top Gun. Number three, playing with the boys. Let's go! Okay, I tap. With all due respect to Berlin, between Danger Zone and playing with the boys, the Top Gun soundtrack undoubtedly belongs to Kenny Loggins. The latter comes into play in this scene, where Maverick and Goose face off against Iceman and his RIO slider in a game of beach volleyball. Seven, now we can get them. Does this scene have any bearing on the plot? No, not at all. In fact, it's become the butt of many jokes over the years, but we cannot help but look forward to it every time we put the movie on. Heck, everyone's so sweaty all the time anyway, now they've got a reason to be. Plus, we don't mind getting a little female gaze in there in such a testosterone-driven movie. Play on. That's gay. Hey. Oh, okay, fake yeah. stay down. Number two, locker room face-off. Yeah, Jester's dead. Val Kilmer makes this movie almost as much as Tom Cruise, and nowhere is that more evident than in this scene. After Maverick and Goose dispatch of Jester, they start wagging their tongues in the locker room. However, their main rivals in Top Gun, Iceman and Slider, take exception and begin to bark back. We won. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. They won too, man. That's not what I heard. No, we did. We got Jester. We no, 
below the hard deck does not count. Hard deck my ass. We nailed that son of a bitch. Ah! Iceman, who always seems to be chewing gum, gets right in Maverick's face, and the two hotshot pilots face off. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Ice man. I am dangerous. They say love and hate are simply two sides of the same coin, and we can tell there's some bromantic chemistry bubbling under the surface here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. You Can Be My Wingman the climactic scene of the movie sees Maverick assigned to back up Iceman, much to the latter's chagrin. They're accosted by a slew of bogeys, only these ones are not nearly as friendly. Leg lift! I'm hit! I'm hit! We're coming apart! I can't control it! Hold on, two, 20, we're going down! After one of their jets is shot down, Maverick swoops in to offer support. Things are looking bleak. But Maverick refuses to leave his wingman. Maverick! We've got a mink coming around on our tail. We gotta get out of here. I can't leave ice. He's still coming around, he's still coming around, he's gonna get behind us. I'm not leaving my wingman. After Iceman shoots the bogey he's pursuing, Maverick is put in another's crosshairs himself. He deftly draws it in before again slamming on the brakes, switching spots, and ending the conflict. I got a good lock. Firing. Despite presumably starting World War III, spirits are high. And after learning the value of teamwork, Maverick's finally earned Iceman's respect. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah! All's well that ends well. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.